Hi loves, it's beautiful weather here in Stockholm. I'm sitting in my garden. I have some stuff prepared here and I'm gonna make a video. This one I feel is gonna be really long. I will be talking about my transformation. I will be totally transparent about all my shadow and everything that I have been working through and how much going into my shadow and really owning that has, and being in the uncomfortable, uncomfortable feelings and just emotions has helped me transform. And uh, like I have so much to say, so I want to be really grounded when I talk about this and get it all through in a good way. So I will be taking some deep breaths and just feeling into myself while talking so that I don't like just babble so I'm gonna begin with like I'm looking at myself right now and I'm, I'm so unused to makeup right now because when I'm in my winter period when I'm in winter here here in Sweden I don't feel like wearing makeup or making myself up or doing anything I just like having it all plain because I'm so con uh, like concentrated on working with myself that I don't really pay attention to how I look and when it's getting warmer I always feel like dressing up and putting on makeup and nails I like I have been doing nails for quite some time but I like doing stuff like that when it's warmer and like nicer out and I just feel like I like I, I can own it so I want to begin with talking about my journey, my transformation, how it began, like everything before my awakening um, and like before my like real real awakening when I got to shadow work and really working with myself and really being in tune with my soul because I had this ego period when I was just very militant and wanted everyone to just wake up but I didn't do any inner work I was just understanding things from a very logical point and very like ego-like or not ego-like like from the ego so I will be going into that and I will be very transparent and honest about everything in this one so my journey began when I met my ex-boyfriend, who's now my lover, my partner. We're not in a committed relationship, we're having things very open, like if he wanna be with somebody else, he can, if I want to, I can. So we, we are in this phase of being very open and I feel that I really need that because I have a history of codependence, like I have always had someone to rely on or, with, or lean on or just project my shit onto. And uh, for a long time our relationship was very like shaky and very toxic and we kind of got to the point where, where we recognized that and was like okay we need to do something about this, we need to heal ourselves and we need to get into our own world and not like lean on each other and just put ourselves even further down. So it all began when I met him. Uh, I have always, my parents are spiritual, like what you call spiritual, and I have always had this side to me, but I grew up in a very like Muslim part of Stockholm where everybody was just very like traditional Muslims and I was always called a whore or uh, like being put down because I wanted to do things with boys and I was very open and my parents allowed me to do like most things and didn't restrict me on how I dress or how I put up put on makeup or things like that or like my mom tried to a little bit but she never succeeded I was always a rebel kind of girl uh, so I grew up in a neighborhood like that and it was quite hard really because 
I never felt accepted for who I was. I always felt like I had to put on a mask and I felt that way in life in general. But when I met my ex or like partner or lover in the beginning, um, he opened up this because he has been he had been doing like sh mushrooms and getting into all of this spiritual kind of thinking through that. But I didn't feel that that was my way really. So he really opened up a new door for me. He opened up a new way of seeing the world for me and like getting into myself. And he also, he was so concentrated on, lo on loving my femininity. Like he's such a worshipper of the divine feminine. And he was always encouraging me to see my beauty and eat because I had like a lot of eating disorders. I didn't eat, I worked out a lot, I had bulimia for several years. I was always like killing off my body uh, to be in this patriarchal construct and like have the perfect body and things like that. And he was so concentrated on helping me through that and just seeing my beauty without all of that. He just wanted me to love myself for who I am. The thing was though that still in that time, like I hadn't awakened fully, I hadn't owned my, owned my shadow, I hadn't, I was still very much in denial, I was still, like I, now I don't have the luxury to be in denial you guys, I'm gonna talk about that later. But then I was still very much in denial and just so yeah so much shit was going around in me and so much shit was going around in him like all of our shadow came up when we met i don't know if that is like twin flame shit i i don't want to get into that too much because i don't want to like get stuck in those things but i feel that there is something there but all of our shadow came up like when we met our lives transformed like 100 percent and uh, the thing then was, like I said, I was still very much in denial and uh, a thing that was before my awakening, that before my shadow work, I lied a lot. Like I have lied almost all my life and made up stories and just pretended to be someone because I never felt that who I am or what I feel is important or that anyone would care. If I just told someone how I feel, I didn't, like, it didn't even, I never felt like anybody would care if I didn't make it more dramatic. So I was like, I was telling stories, making up things, being very dramatic and just uh, over exaggerating everything. Uh, and I had lied to him like a lot and my, real transformation my real awakening began like so intensely when i admitted to him everything i have been lying about and it didn't come out everything didn't come out at once it was like two times that i told him everything and he was like he wasn't even mad because he said he said something that was so profound to hear he was like i know that she lied about all the stories and about everything around it but I know that the feelings inside of that were all true you really felt that way you just didn't know how to talk about it so uh, yeah when I really admitted to him and told him everything and that I was lying and who I really was everything started to open up for me and my transformation really began because I owned the shadow, I saw it, I welcomed it, I was with it, I didn't let shame, like shame was there, but I was with it and didn't let it rule me anymore. And when I opened up to him, I also opened up to my closest friends and told them about everything. Eventually I was even writing about this on my blog and talking about this, but first I told him and then I told my friends and a really close friend of mine that I have had since I was like 
13, 14 opened up and told me that he's been doing the exact same thing. Like we've been this close, like best, best friends. And we've been going up and down and like separating and get, then getting back together. And it took us up to uh, our 20s to be real with each other and really tell ourselves everything. And now we have such a beautiful relationship. But until that point, it was like very codependent. So, uh, yeah, when I really told about all the lies, about everything yeah, that I've been hiding yeah, and everything that I have been so ashamed of and all my issues like porn addiction and uh, uh, bulimia and uh, like all these eating disorders, all this lying, all this like I was really really addicted to hash not pot because sweet is not, like it is addictive but not in the same way I was I don't think that I ever was addicted to any substance because I don't feel you get addicted to substance I think you get addicted to denial you get addicted to getting away from your feelings and you just use those substances to do that I was really addicted to hash I smoked every day, like five grams a day, every day for, Jesus, like on and off for five years maybe. And it did so much good for me because it opened up my thinking in, and I've always like was, I was thinking out of the box and I didn't really fall into the schooling system and just being indoctrinated in the same way but it also i'm very grateful for everything really like for all my darkness because it took me here and when i look back at who i was just one and a half year ago i'm shocked at how much i have transformed at who i am like even talking about this making a video and being so honest and transparent about all of this there's just no way I would have done that for like just a year ago. No way I wouldn't or one and a half or two even like some I don't have a track of time anymore because it's so much that is has been happening But I would never talk about this really because I would be ashamed and I would feel like that shadow owns me That shadow is me. I am shameful. I'm wrong I am like all of these beliefs and I still have those beliefs and I'm but now I'm owning them and working through them and loving them and being with them and not running away from them with just thinking about clothes and having sex with random people that just used me and I let them use me to get attention so uh, I'm not doing things to run away I'm actually going into the shadow like I'm being pulled into the shadow over and over and over again. I'm going to talk about that more soon. So, like I said, I lied a lot. I made stories up a lot. I just, I was, I felt like I was floating without any, like, I was floating without knowing who I am. I was floating around and just doing whatever it took to have someone to lean on or a place to be or like a group that I can... I didn't feel any identity or like feeling of my own whatsoever. I didn't have that in no shape or form. I was just like whoever gave me attention, whoever gave me recognition or like validation that's where I was and that got me into so many destructive places and relationships and just so much destruction in my life and I'm so happy for that really you guys all, like all the shadow in my life it made me it's who I am and uh, I was like always using people to get validation really like I was hanging with people even though I didn't like them just because they were high up in status I had that kind of shadow too that I just wanted to be seen by everyone and even if I felt like okay I don't want to be here I still like I was real literally literally killing myself literally like never t 
setting boundaries, never telling what I feel and then it switched and I got to the point where I was always setting boundaries and was just really angry at the whole world and took my shit out of the people around me and things like that but it all came from this place that I didn't feel any worth of my own I didn't feel worthy, I didn't feel validated, I didn't feel seen and I made it other people's business or other people's like I don't know how to say it, other people's work or like other people's work to give me that I didn't give that for myself and I expected others to give me that so it created all of these expectations of people and that from that came so much codependency because I felt like if I'm not with someone I have no value like there was years of my teenage life I got interrupted it was years of my teenage life when I couldn't be alone because I was afraid. I was afraid of loneliness. I was afraid to be with all my thoughts. I was afraid to be with all my feelings. So I just clung on to whoever could be with me and had all of these expectations of how they should be to me and how they they need to take care of me. And as I said, from that came a lot of codependence. So that's a little about, or a lot about, <laughs> really, um, about who I was before the awakening and how I was showing up in my life and how I was just in total denial about everything and putting my shit onto others and just not being or owning my darkness at all. Like I judge people so much. Like I always judge people when it showed something of mine. But if people came to me and needed to talk to me about their shame and like their deepest things, I never like I. I, this is really weird, but I never judged anyone. I was always this open space for everyone to just talk to me about the darkest things inside of them because I honestly understood and I was like, is this it? Like, you don't even know the shit I have inside. So I was very open to people talking to me and I never judged anyone and people always felt very comfortable sharing with me. But for myself, I didn't do that, like, no way in hell. But... Like, like I said, quite some times now, um, when I told about all the lies and I just came clean and just... When I took that step and I was like, I don't care if he leaves me, my partner. I don't care if he leaves me. I don't care what he thinks about me. I need to be true. I need to be authentic. I can't live in, the, I can't live in this lie anymore. Like, I don't have that inside of me anymore. I can't. I just don't have it in me, I can't live in a lie because my authentic expression was coming up more and more and more and I couldn't really be in denial anymore I just didn't have it in me and I was like, if I really want to be in this relationship for real and if I really want to have connections with people I need to be vulnerable and be honest because vulnerability was not my thing like, I didn't share my vulnerability at all if I did, it was in lies so it never really could come and hurt me because if someone hurt me or did something to me based upon the lies I told it wasn't even true so if it was something that was I was really vulnerable about I didn't talk about that because I was afraid that that would be used against me like a lot of past lives and childhood traumas coming up but uh, if it was lies I always like made up a lie and told in that lie how I felt but never true and when I started to be vulnerable and open and I was like if I ever gonna have real connections real friendships real relationships if I'm ever gonna be real I have to be real I have to tell everything and that opened up everything for me and since then I have been doing so much intense shadow work like for the last six months, it has been so, so, so intense, like so intense and present all the time. But it has been present on and on since like for two, one and a half, two years, or maybe a little less. I don't know, but something like that. But, but like I said, the last six months has been so intense. And... Uh, 
I have transformed so much guys as like I can't even I was about to say a Swedish word I have transformed so much like from being this very proud ego not sharing my vulnerability not being honest like from this fake made up persona like not being myself at all I am like being pulled more and more towards my authenticity like I don't want to say that I'm totally authentic now because I still have like fear and shame and uh, sometimes I don't say everything because I'm afraid of how people will really really react or things like that but I'm well like walking there I'm taking step by step to being totally fully authentic every day and I'm with my shadow I'm re I recognize my shadow I own my shadow no matter how hard it is and no matter how much I'm trying to pull away I'm always pulled in again because lately I've been feeling this like this male more a male kind of energy like yes get shit done and now the shadow is like gone and then my shadow is like mm -mm -mm, no way Jose I'm still here and you're not gonna leave me behind this time like you're not gonna run into the light and forget about me and then have a big purge like I want to be present all the time I want this to be an ongoing relationship I don't want this to be like a see you in kind of some months kind of relationship this is a commitment you made and you're staying here so I've been really pulled into my shadow my shadow is totally present and with me all the time and I'm with it as good as I can in any given moment even when it's hard because there is resistance and there is this shame kind of feeling like am I doing something wrong but I'm still here I'm showing up as good as I can in who I am right now because I have still so much work to do and I have so much left to work with and so much left to like learn how to work with myself and get to know all of these places of me and all of these healing places of me so I know that I have a lot left to do but I'm here I'm present and I am I don't have the luxury to be in denial like really I don't I don't have the luxury to be in denial anymore as soon as I try or fall into that pattern it all gets dismantled right away like I'm I'm so sensitive to my own inner world I'm so sensitive overall like I'm a very sensitive person but I'm so sensitive to my shadow to inner work like as soon as I judge someone I'm pulled into shadow work as soon as I judge myself or think a thought like it's kind of becoming automatic for me to be in that I can't be without that because honestly I don't want to even if I have days like when I'm like I don't want to do any shadow work anymore just get off me I don't want to do this anymore I always have this back feeling this feeling in my core that okay let that be there let that resistance be there but you know why you're doing this and you know why this is important to you and you know who you are and the shadow is like the shadow made you like my shadow is I made you you ain't getting rid of me so uh, yeah I'm always being pulled into my shadow so that I don't get into this thinking that I have to be like pure light and love and perfect and beautiful and everything is good because that's not the reality of things like we're in the circle of life where there is light and shadow and everything is holy everything is perfect everything is beautiful like you need that shadow you need that dark time to rest to plant new seeds to look into yourself to be honest to find new ways to let go of the old ways and just unpack because it's so much about like constantly unpacking and going into new phases unpacking what is not true and what is blocking you from your authenticity and packing up like the true parts of you so that they can shine and then you're into unpacking again and it's this constant cycle and I'm being constantly pulled to be with that and not be in denial and not like see the 
whole picture and the beauty of the whole picture the beauty of the whole cycle and be with the whole cycle be present with it be uncomfortable in it and be comfortable in the uncomfortability of being totally present with birth life and death all the time so I have transformed so much and I have grown so so much and I feel like every step is constantly being unfolded for me and I'm constantly being pulled towards my path more and more like I have this shadow that is always wanted to do and like want to achieve and want to like this masculine energy because I have very balanced masculine and feminine energy but I'm more indoctrinated into the masculine as we all are after the patriarchy so I'm still learning to really incorporate and be with the feminine energy and really working with that but it's all unfolding so beautifully when I just step back and watch it without getting into it too much emotionally I can see how it's unfolding so beautifully and showing me and always pulling me back into the feminine and into like trust and uh, intuition trust ease uh, flow I'm being pulled back into that like as fast as I am I'm gonna do this and that and that I'm like that doesn't feel authentic I that doesn't feel aligned I, c I don't want to do that like I don't want to do that because that doesn't feel true to me and that is not sustainable in a long way because I want to be really true to my soul and heart I want to work from those places and I'm not gonna settle for anything less than my heart and soul because I've been in all the shadow I know how it feels and it always feels better to be in your soul it always feels better to be in your heart and your ego and try to think your way out of things and try to think your way out of your shadow and not be with that shadow, not love that shadow. So while I have this very masculine, like doing kind of energy, I'm always pulled back to alignment. I'm pulled back to soul. And I see how that all unfolds. Recently, I have been so pulled to the rose, to roses like in overall. I have always loved roses since I was a kid. My uh, grandfather has this rose garden where I was spending so much of my time just smelling and playing with the roses. I have a rose tattoo. Recently I got some rose quartz from my mom, crystals. I got some uh, essential oil, rose essential oil for my dad. I have been drying rose petals for yoni steams. I have been just having so much roses in my house, just putting them everywhere. I have been just so drawn towards the rose and just seeing the rose everywhere. I got this rose soap from my mom and just rose was everywhere around me. And then today I was pulled to do a meditation with a sisterhood, the, mer the moon of the mermaid sisterhood, I think it's called. It's very new to me. Uh, and Beth, the girl doing the meditation, was talking about rose frequency and rose codes. And I also pulled the sisterhood of the rose card from my oracles. I have oracle cards uh, from Rebecca Campbell, Work Your Light. And I pulled the Rose Sisterhood card so many times and it encouraged me to be in nature and to see beauty in everything and just harmonize everything by beauty. And I've been so pulled towards the Rose. And then today I did the meditation with Beth and while she was talking I was just crying and crying and crying because I felt so much like everything felt so aligned it felt like oh my god i am on the right path path i am on the right like way i am doing i am aligned so much more than i think i am and it's every, everything is getting unfolded for me step by step because i shared in my previous videos that i feel so so stressed by that i'm not working with what i want to work with and I honestly feel that there is a side of me that I don't feel ready. I don't feel like 
I have all the tools to do that yet. I have like places to grow inside of me to become that. But it's all getting more and more unfolded. Like I have my sisterhood circle. I have my YouTube. I have my blog. I have I write on Facebook. I have uh, Instagram where I share like it's all coming together and I need to stop stressing the way to get there because I know that I want to work with healing and embodying, embodying the divine feminine and just helping people live their like their soul feeling their calling and I want to help people heal I know all of that and it's so stressful to not be doing that yet but I also know that it will all come in divine timing it will all come when it's really aligned and good and that I'm really in the position when I can hold that space for people and be like committed to it 100% so I just felt during that meditation that I have been so pulled towards the rose for a reason and in that meditation it all came together to show me that I am on the right path I'm doing the right thing and it's like stop stressing yourself out stop being so hard on yourself stop being so pushy towards yourself like and smell the roses enjoy your life have fun do what you feel really called to like don't try to think it out with your mind and be with your shadow all the time like be there for it all the time don't try to run away from it or get rid of it or fix it because you want to just be there with it and i felt this real clarity that I am where I'm supposed to be and I can enjoy myself more and just be with myself more so uh, and also there was the Magdalenas in that med the order of the Magdalenas the Mary Magdalene frequency in that meditation and I have been pulled and also resistant to the Magdalene energy because I'm gonna be totally honest I have felt like I don't deserve it uh, who I am to think that I'm uh, one of them like I'm pulled towards that I have been feeling like I just want to be like the people that I um, look up to to the guides I have right now and I have been feeling so much resistant towards owning that I feel really called to go into all this frequencies to really work with all of that to really let that inside of myself like I feel so pulled to go to Ireland Scotland and England and I want to go to Glastonbury and I want to go to Avalon and just all the springs and I feel a resistance towards that because I feel like who do you think you are and listening to this like doing this meditation and being in that space I just observed all of that and it became so clear to me that I really want to do all of this and it's not some ego kind of trip because I'm kind of afraid of ego trips I'm kind of afraid to just fall into ego things and be like I should do that but it became so clear to me that I really feel the call towards doing it but I also feel that I will do it in time where it's when it's right and not stress into it and like push myself into it so I feel so pulled towards doing so many things at the same time like working with plants and exploring all of these energies inside of me so I need to really ground myself and let it all unfold step by step and not push myself and not be like thinking that this is where I should be and this is what I should be doing and just be where I am and really be present and fully in that moment so I can learn and embrace everything that is going on inside of me in present time and it just trusting that it will all unfold perfectly and in divine timing so uh, yeah there was quite a lot in this video I haven't really been so open in these videos before and I shared everything here I shared so much and it's it's weird because I don't even feel afraid of the reactions I don't even feel afraid of if people are gonna judge me because I own that now like I know who I was I know who I am I know where I'm going and I'm also very happy and proud of who I am today
I'm so freaking proud of myself. I have no problem saying that. I'm so proud of the strong, intelligent, fires, beautiful woman I have become and uh, pulled out, out of all the unpacking. And I also want to say that lately I've been feeling this like pulling away from my, trying to pull away from my shadow. And then I have felt this like strong, powerful, like fire, lion kind of energy in my heart. This feminine energy in my heart that was like, no, we're gonna love it all. We're gonna be with it all. Like, be with that. And it has scared me so much. I have felt so much resistance towards it because I felt like, no, that's toxic masculinity. Trying to be like, push myself to be with la 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 and things like that. And now I have come to understand that that is like fires, loving, feminine energy that is pulling me back to my shadow to love it and be with it no matter what. And I need to own that and listen to that and not be afraid of what is coming up for me. So if you feel like ever like you're being pulled inwards and you feel this fires energy like this loving mama that is going to be there for it all and you feel kind of afraid of it or resistance towards it. Just know that no matter what you feel, it's right, it's good, and she's there to really love you and hold you. She's really there to love you and hold you. So, like I said, it's been a long video. I have shared a lot. So much have come forward in this. And I'm so happy that I did. I'm so happy that I shared all of, all of this, and I want to make more and more vulnerable and true videos from now on and be really honest about everything that is going on so this was kind of so much there's so much to be said and i could be talking for like three hours about my whole journey and all the ego trips and all the lessons i've learned and all the important things but right now I just feel so in tune with the rose frequency and the Magdalene's and the priestess archetypes and the witch archetypes and I'm exploring all of that inside of myself I feel so pulled towards authenticity and vulnerability and being true and owning everything and loving all the dark and light and everything and being with the shame and anger and guilt and just being with it all loving it all and seeing it all as holy because it truly is holy like the whole picture the full cycle everything inside of it the unpacking the packing the dropping the getting away it's all holy and perfect if you think about mother earth like she has all of the seasons and all of them are perfect and they serve a purpose all of them serve a purpose all the seasons are there for a reason, like Mother Earth isn't controlling or doing anything. She is just there. And I also want to throw in while I said controlling. Uh, I also had very much controlling like in my life. I was always trying to control and manipulate people to do what I wanted. Uh, I always, I was very... Con controlling in relationships, trying to control and manipulate my way. like get in my way or um, yeah just very controlling manipulative lying and all all this kind of shadows so once I said that I feel quite done and very proud and happy about sharing all of this I feel like I have been jumping you know, like from place to place and talking all over the place and being really inconsistent and I'm gonna be honest that's how it is for me right now. I feel that it's hard for me to be really consistent and have a real structure because I'm talking out of my heart and out of experience and out of my soul. So I just get out what I need to get out. So thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Always feel free to write to me. Like I can be of support with shadow work, with things like that, with looking into yourself. I plan on creating something like where I can charge money for being of support and a guide and things like that when I feel really called to and ready so that I can be of support to others through their shadow and really be like this temple for others to explore their soul so that they 
don't need me anymore and can be with themselves so, so once again thank you so so much for watching thank you so much for giving me your precious time and hearing me out and just holding me while i talked about this thank you have a wonderful beautiful day and i love you all so so much